everyone, welcome back to my channel. Cobra here with another video on Mecha Domination. So for today's video, I'm gonna be going over the Ace Commander event, how to do well in it, and what you should be paying attention for if you wanna make the most out of it. So this event is a five day long event. You can find it via the event page if you go up here to Ace Commander, or it's also right here on your screen. So each day for this, you're going to have different objectives. Now, there are some repeats and it's really important. One of my biggest tips is pay attention to which days are going to get you more points for what you're doing. I specify that because on day one, so if you click on the number here, the Roman numeral, you can see what uh, the event was and the points. So day one, you can see you, for construction and research is what you get points for, 45 uh, points for one might that you increase. Now, if you go to day five, you see you can still get points on day five for construction and research and unit training, but it's much less. It's 30 instead of 45. So there is a difference in points, so pay attention to that. So day one is just construction and research. If you're gonna have any upgrades, get as much done as you can. My recommendation is when you see this event coming, cause it'll show it, you know, a day or two in advance, start a big upgrade like a uh, headquarters upgrade, you know, something big like that. Like, you know, this where I, you see I have one day and nine hours left because the next day is going to be the construction day again. So you want to do that in advance. That way you don't have to use quite as many speed ups for it. And then that way you'll get all the points. Now try and get as much of your research and construction done on day one as possible because on day five, it's not going to be worth as much. Now day two here is uh, alteration, drawing and beast market and gathering. Gathering, I'll be honest, it's not going to get you a ton of points. It'll get you some, but alterations and beast market is where you're going to get the points. Then we go to day three. Day three is training day. You can see you get a good amount of points here, especially if you're training higher tier troops. So that's gonna be the day that you wanna get the most or all your tra training done. Um, promoting does also count. The higher the difference between levels that you're promoting from, the more points you get. So if you go from a tier one to a tier nine, you're gonna get the points. That's the difference between the two of them. As it says like in the tip at the top here, um, so that's all that you get points for though on day three is that training. Day four, it's going to give you alter beasts again, but it also gives you capture beasts and rallies. So you look capturing beasts, you're going to get 30,000 points each rally. You're going to get 90,000. So cost wise, doing more rallies is going to get you more points. However, I also recommend looking at other things that are going on. For example, Capture Carnival. This is another one that requires you to capture a ton of things. Rallies do not count, it has to be individual. So I give up a few points for the other one in order to get some for this. I just spam that. It's not a huge difference because basically it's the equivalent of like five energy wasted. So not a whole lot just a little bit so this day you're really gonna get it from a little bit of everything actually so repeat with the altar beasts it's actually the same amount of points so this one you don't have to be careful what day but the last day like I said earlier training research and construction is going to be a repeat but less so this is day five is a catch-up if you're close to someone you can catch up but I don't recommend trying to make most of your progress on day five because you're going to end up wasting. You wanna do all of that stuff on day one when you're gonna get the extra, it's an extra 50% from 30 to 45. That's a big difference when you're in the millions. Now, the days that you're going to get a lot of points here. For the most part, day one, you're gonna get a ton of points. If you're doing big construction things, you know, building your headquarters, things like that, you can get a lot, you know, millions of points on day one. On these days, 
if you're not spamming the beast market and high level you know alterations like trying to get to a red you're not going to get as many points the training if you have high tier units you can but really you're going to get probably the most points on day one and day four would be my guess just because day four has the elder beasts the rallies capture beasts and the beast market you have a lot of options because the gathering on day two is not going to get you much. Day five, like I said, I would not focus on it. I would focus on the rest of the days. That's how I would recommend uh, getting the most out of your resources, being productive, and especially pay attention to other events as well because there is overlap. You know, doing the capture carnival, you can get things like, look, you can get hard tech, you know, you can get these. Uh, the advanced beast designs and you can get you know the ranking rewards and things which also help so it's always nice to do kind of two things at once i made the mistake of yesterday using a ton of my hard tech to get energy because i saw the capture beast was there um but then today it started in the ace commander and i realized oh shoot i wasted it so pay attention to what's coming up but it's a pretty simple event um overall you want to try and get the highest you can overall but you can see here overall i'm ranked 10 i'm actually ranked three today just because i did hit this beast market a little bit you can do it with um with gems it costs I believe, about sixteen thousand gems to hit it 10 times which is not actually bad because that gives you nine hundred thousand points so just a suggestion if you don't know what to do with your gems because you can get parts uh, pieces of the death wing but that's a little bit on the ace commander it has really good rewards so i've seen very similar events in a lot of different games um, my recommendation is always once one ends start saving up for the next one if, especially if you are free to play and you're not going to be buying stuff once it ends or even on the last day or two start saving stuff up because one thing you'll notice is reward wise like look number one's getting 300 pieces and you know 90 that 6,000 gems but if you go to even rank 20 you're getting or rank 21 you're getting 10 and 3,600 that's a big drop so my recommendation is always rather than getting a little bit a few times save up for even a few weeks, save up your speed, your speed ups, your resources, your gems, you know, everything you can, even your alterations, save some of those up, wait for this event to come back around and start everything ahead of time. Start a long research and a long construction, you know, a day or two ahead of time. That way you can maximize those points because getting ranked high, you know, you're gonna get really good things you're gonna get 12,000 gems for placing 10th like me right now you know that's really really nice especially if you can make it top 10 or even better top three you're gonna get amazing rewards so hope this helped um if you have any questions regarding the ace commander event let me know in the comments if you have any questions regarding anything in general or if there's any other events or anything you want me to explain let me know in the comments. I'm happy to make more videos for you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to be making more videos more consistently on this game. So I'm always looking for more topics if there's anything you guys think would be helpful. And please drop a like and subscribe and share this video with other people so that they can all uh, learn these tips and tricks.